What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. There is a lot that needs to be talked about, so let's go. The first thing I want to talk about is how people criticize you no matter what you do. If you're trying to make a difference, people are going to criticize you for that kind of thing. If you don't know what I mean, basically, Nike has revealed on Monday that Kaepernick, the out-of-work uh, NFL quarterback who generated controversy for kneeling during the national anthem to protest racial injustice and police brutality will be part of its 30th anniversary Just Do It campaign. And Kaepernick went online on Twitter and he, he tweeted, believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Now, some Kaepernick critics took meaning to sacrifice their Nike products. Basically, people went online to destroy any of their Nike products by defacing it or destroying it and saying, oh, I'm going to go on to align with, you know, Adidas, Brooks, or Converse. And not knowing these people, they probably don't know that Nike owns Converse. And country star John Rich showed off uh, a pair of Nike logos that had been removed from his Salomon socks. And viral videos of people burning their Nike shoes went on. And then all of a sudden, the anti-Nike punch came out. Just don't, said somebody on Instagram. Just blew it, said another. Now, if you guys don't know about you know, the backstory on this and everything along the way about Kaepernick uh, kneeling on, you know, during the national anthem. Uh, Trump went on, you know, he went on criticizing NFL players protesting during the national anthem. And, you know, this is where Kaepernick started all because, like I said, he was out there fighting for something that was a good thing. And Trump and others have frequently mischaracterized Kaepernick's uh, protest as being against the, uh, the anthem or the U.S. flag. And in an interview with Fox News last year, Trump told Sean uh, Hannity he thought that Kaepernick should be suspended after his first protest. No. ESPN reporter Darren Rovell, uh, who broke the news on Monday, reported Nike's new Just Do It campaign was to be targeting 15 to 17-year-old teenagers and also uh, included professional uh, athletes like Odell Beckham Jr., Shaquem Griffin, uh, Lacey Baker, Sierra, uh, Serena Williams, LeBron James, and many more. Rovell tweeted Tuesday that the NFL did not respond to a request for comment on Nike's decision. Now, in March, Nike and the NFL announced they have extended their long partnership for game apparel until 2028. Now, Nike has used its messaging to take a stance on social social justice before, on issues beforehand. In February of 2017, a Nike ad called for a end to discrimination, saying "equal equal has no boundaries." And in this video, it required it had Jesse Williams, it had Kevin Durant, and many other athletes making a difference in support of Black History Month and to create a sort of a quote saying like inspire people to act and press for lasting change in their communities as they said in the video now the irony of all of this you know people are defacing all of their likely expensive nike products it's just absurd you know for all these people saying oh you know i'm gonna destroy this because kaepernick is all this kind of thing you know many many people have poked fun at newly declared boycott and you know even filming themselves just doing all this kind of stupid stuff i mean look at this i have on this nike shirt and i have a pair of nike running shoes but am i going to destroy this hell no because these help me you know help me out a lot i like to go running so i'm going to wear some nike running shoes and i also wear converse because you know converse are comfortable to work with now for all those people, I'm, I'm just going to ask you guys this, for all those people who want to destroy their Nike products or, you know, by burning stuff, by defacing it, all that kind of stuff, let me ask you this. How about instead of you destroying all that stuff, how about you give it to the homeless veterans who you you say you care about so much yet you just push them off to the side? How about you give all that to them? Instead of destroying this stuff, how about you give that to somebody who actually needs that? Because you you say you care about everything and you know you know you got all this money you say oh yeah look at my Nike stuff look at my my watches all that kind of stuff oh but if when it comes to veterans you be like nah I don't want to have that person now so for all those that want to destroy their Nike products 
again, let me ask you, how about you give it to those who actually need it? If you understand what I'm saying. All right. And since, you know, we, we want to continue on criticizing people, how about we go into the next segment? You know, if you ever watched the Cosby Show back when it was still on, you know, I don't know if it's still on or not. Uh, but back then, there was a lot of great actors and actresses on there. And one of them was Jeffrey Owens. And he was hilarious. Now, even though he got in trouble on some parts, he, he was a funny guy on the Cosby Show and everything else on the way. Now, he is being overwhelmed, as in a good way, by all the support he's received after being job shamed by critics. Now, he appeared on Good Morning America on Tuesday, where he broke his silence about working at Trader Joe's after someone took a photo of him uh, bagging groceries and it just went viral. Now, on in an interview, he was rocking, you know, his, his name, tagging everything along the way. He said, I was really devastated, but the period of devastation was so short. My wife and I read these responses literally from all over the world, and unfortunately, the shame part basically didn't last that long. Now, because of that, Owens has received tons and tons of support from, from fans and actors and actresses alike uh, who shared their own stories about working part-time jobs in between gigs and everything. Terry Owens tweeted that, you know, after being in the NFL, he swept floors. Tyler Perry offered him a job. Like, he offered him a gig, like, to help him, in between, you know, since he wants to be in between gigs and everything, to offer him a role on one of his shows that he does on OWN. And Owen, Owens went on to, you know, GMA, uh, that he took a job at Trader Joe's because it offered him flexibility to pursue roles, you know, via gigs and everything on like and he add, And he added, I didn't advertise that I, I was working at Trader Joe's, not because I was ashamed of it, but because I didn't want uh, the entertainment community to decide, well, he's doing that. He's not pursuing acting anymore. And basically, you know, he felt that he wanted to be careful about that kind of thing. And, you know, after this incident, he, he wants to make sure that people know that, you know, even though he's working here, you know, he's still doing all this stuff to support his family and, you know, himself and everything along the way. And that's the thing. I hate when people want to criticize you just for doing something you want to do. You know, if if uh, Jeffrey Owens wants to work at Trader Joe's and, you know, everything along the way to support his family, let him do that. Don't don't criticize him for that because, you know, uh, it's just idiotic. If you want to burn something, if you want to burn your Nike product stuff because Colin Kaepernick is the new face of, you know, Nike, that's just idiotic. Quit criticizing people and just try to make a difference. You know, if you want to make a difference, don't be an idiot. That's that's my point right there. Do not be an idiot. Stop criticizing people and just make a difference in the world, okay? And I want to know what you guys think about that. If you want to criticize me, feel free to because all I'm going to say is it's just going to brush off. But let me know what you guys think about the whole Colin Kaepernick on Just Do a Campaign. Let me know what you guys think about Jeffrey Owens. Let me know what what is on your mind. Just let me know whatever is on your mind, okay? I want to know what is going on your mind and everything else on the way. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let the people know I am Matthew for you guys because I am always out there getting a the good word and letting you guys know what is going on in our crazy world. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love all you guys. Peace out.